Cause so you got your whole on beef Real pound dealers give a fuck about enemies what? Put them on a leash with my OG Smoking OG yeah. Yeah. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone it's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hunt Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, don't forget to subscribe because we're doing $2,000 of a giveaway at 185,000 subscribers and we are doing a Mother's Day giveaway. So make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss out on that you know my giveaways are gonna be juicy uh today we have a special video going on and let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to poncho you definitely need to cover more of the spanish cheese man i feel like the shade room and tmz only cover english cheese man i'm hooked because you're actually funny i appreciate it baby girl that ain't no problem, that ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. It's now, as you guys can see in the title, today we're going to be talking about a mystery because I felt like we were abandoned. I feel like uh, everybody used to watch Los Corazones and then out of nowhere, pff, gone. Just like that. Fanito, Dunzo, you're out skis. Now, a little bit of background. If you guys don't know what Los Corazones is, it was a game show where it would kind of revolve around zodiac signs. Actually, let's take a minute. Pause right now. I'll uh, comment down below your zodiac sign. This is the only time you can comment your zodiac sign. Any other time i don't care about your zodiac but because this is a zodiac video comment your zodiac and it was basically where they got a bunch of people uh, i guess they would uh, pay some of the people uh, to be on the show but it was still funny because a lot of these people uh were actually there to find some love you feel me and at the same time you know the host was funny she was roasting these people you know, everybody loved the show now as to the reason why it ended I, I tried doing all the research i can find and the only thing i can find is uh some people were saying that basically uh they didn't want there was too much cuddling too much uh google Rilo, too much uh, all this stuff and uh telemundo wanted to remove all that kind of thing it's kind of crazy how the show's called doce corazones and it lasted 12 years people are watching euphoria ain't nobody give a flag nobody give a flag doce corazones doce corazones is nothing a euphoria euphoria you see a damn salchi you know what take a breather <sighs> Look, Doce Corazones, yeah, feel me. If Doce Corazones would come up again, because I know she's uh, running back again in her new modern day show. Now, I tried watching the new show and I just feel like there's a lot of things going on that I was just a little bit confused. But from what I'm looking at it, it's kind of like a reality uh, TV show uh, where they're still kind of finding love. But in this situation, uh, they kind of talk in groups with the boys, with the boys and the girls and the girls. And they kind of uh, decide together as to if they like a person or not. And they boo-boo talk. Uh, but me personally, I think Doce Corazones this is still you know honestly a lot better than this show uh but like i said i feel like if she would actually come out again i don't think they would be able to do like a doce corazones again but she does have like a reality show right now it's kind of like a reality kind of show but it's just not the same as doce corazones yeah feel me and something that i did find legit when i was reading all these uh, uh articles is that uh, she actually had like some nerve damage on her leg or her like her foot uh, because of wearing so much damn heels and standing so much she actually uh, ended up not even feeling pain at one point i think she doesn't feel pain no more it's commitment even though you're not supposed to do that you know you feel me but she that was commitment and then you know wearing all those damn because i would see her in so many damn heels but ultimately in conclusion um i really did love this show uh, like i said i feel like it would be a hit banger especially now everybody needs them now you know, i'd love to be on that damn show yeah feel I would love to be on that show. But make sure to comment down below as to uh, what do you guys think of the show disappearing. If it was for Telemundo saying because they were kind of, you know, sensitive that uh, they were doing too much hugging, too much, etc, etc. Make sure to comment down below as to what do you guys feel about that. A little bit of a bonus cheese, man. I saw that with Adam Ray. Uh, he's going on, I guess, some sort of tour, uh, going on a world tour. But my thing is, 450 bolas for a VIP so let's check out this exclusiva Nessias all access package backstage tour with Adam. No way. Appear in Adam's Instagram story day of show. Oh my gosh. First access entry. First access to the best viewing locations in the venue pre show. Intimate meet and greet. Intimate. Mm, that's, what I'm like. that's what I'm talking about. More time with Adam. Includes selfie photos, videos, and autographs with Adam. Exclusive. Dude, come here. Tour merch. Exclusive holographic Adam Ray. Okay. VIP laminate. Exclusive Adam Ray. Okay, tour poster. Ain't no matter. A ticket to the show. And let's go ahead and check out the price for that all for the low price of Sacatelos. So, bank. Ah. 
Oh, I'm talking about 250. Hold on, guys. Just chill out. You're getting the Instagram story shout out. Damn. Be grateful. Get a little bit of your clout in the story shout out. Hey. I ought to give you, I ought to split half the chi I have. I ought to split it in half and give you the rest of I Give you a damn peanut, you damn peanut brain. But if you guys do want VIP 250, if you don't want VIP, I think there's another version. You can get 100. And if not, you can just get the, you know, general admission for 40. For 40, but for 40 bucks, I can go see Yaeli. <laughs> Maybe I should go. Uh, I did tell you guys I am going to start posting on my second channel. What that second channel is going to consist of. Uh, it is going to be like me personal life when I'm traveling. But it's going to be uh, when uh, these people will have like some sort of events. Maybe I can go like in an FBI mode and just record it. Yeah, feel me. Show up like a fan. Like at the end of the day, I, I could be a fan. So I could do that. Yeah, feel me. TMZ does it. Yeah, feel me. I am TMZ, the Hispanic version. It is what it is. They do call me TMZ Junior. Sometimes. I'm not as bad as them, remember. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here for you guys. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't look Looking for no world news today. Today was about Dos Corazones. And I really do appreciate you guys. Oye, amigo, si tú eres casado, ¿por qué andas tomado? Ah, sin comentarios. Pero si eres casado, ¿por qué andas tomado? No hablo de mi vida privada. Ya te dije, no hablo de mi vida privada, sin comentarios.